Hi Fem Founders, my name is Gia and here are some life-changing books I highly recommend. <music> Currently, I'm reading four books a week minimum, so if you want to get reviews and my weekly picks on really good reads, you should totally subscribe. This second book is by Sir Ranulph Fiennes. So I think he's like the queen's cousin or a relative of the queen from a baronet's family. He has climbed K2, Mount Iger, the summit before it was like a, an Instagram thing to do, which is, I think that's really weird that the summit became like this commercial enterprise where the Sherpas are risking their lives three times a day just for these people to get an Instagram shot. It drives me nuts. It was like one of the first few people who did it and he had to do it twice. He's quite old now. He was this wild adventurer, weird way to describe him, but he has so much more gravitas than calling him a wild adventurer, but he is a world explorer who has not just accomplished a lot, but has accomplished a lot of extreme things. And when I was reading this book, it was kind of like I was talking to myself, or it was something that I would have written. I could definitely relate by the way he talks. He was the one presenting the audiobook. I listened to the audio audiobook version. He has a beautiful voice. I'm not talking about his accent. I'm married to someone with an English accent and they have different accents. He has a private private school voice. <laughs> so for those of you who know different English dialects, you can tell he sounds more old school, <laughs> more posh. He has like a gravelly voice. He talks about how fear affects people. He kind of gives an outside perspective on the subject. He explains all these different ideas of fear that come with his experiences. However, I cannot understand why people have fear because I am the kind of person who even if I'm afraid of it, I will jump in and do it. I'll do it 10 times. You know how people say I'll try anything once? I personally will do it 10 10 times the first few times you might just have had a bad experience and you don't know if you truly appreciate or like it enough so i'll do it 10 times just to be sure i don't like something he is the kind of person who is kind of the same he uses every single perilous exploration and multiple experiences that he's had that have thrown him into fear namely cutting off his fingers himself sawing them off from frostbite from reaching his hands in frozen water and when exploring the poles he also uses other people's experiences to rationalize confronting fear itself by facing it head on and I'm not going to ruin the whole story for you obviously. It has most of every single human emotion in this book so if you want to feel something, if you want to feel alive, if you want to be grateful for what you have, you'll read this book and think oh okay so I have it. <laughs> I have it really good. It really takes you on a journey to live a life that is quite far out there that most people won't be able to experience and there's also a dark side to the book where it's definitely not for children 18 and under. I guess a teenager can read it but it gets a little dark. It shows other people's experiences where they've had a really let's say abusive, few abusive experiences, how people handled it. It's very humanizing, gives you perspective that grounds the level of where you are, wherever you are in life. It's just a matter of how you react to your situation. This book objectively is not something that I would read. I like it. It was very painful. It was hard to get through. It's not a feel-good book. I guess that's relative. I like intense books. I love stories about war. I have- this is hard to read. Where his brain is, where his heart is, the way he talks about everything is my cup of tea. Even if it was difficult, it really shows you how small whatever it is your fears are. This is definitely a read if you need motivation, if you are struggling with going through something difficult. If you're that kind of person who goes out to see movies that make you think, this is for you. <laughs> I like to sometimes just turn off my brain, watch the Kardashians or watch a Fast and Furious movie, and Jason Statham because I just want to turn my brain off from such a productive day. This is one of those books where you might have to have some effort into consciously reading it, retaining the information that's in here because it is very emotional and it's it goes to dark places and it goes to adventurous places. It's not fully PG because there are some dark stories in here. My new catchphrase, you should totally read this. You should totally subscribe. <laughs> he was a member of the SAS. He fought as a bloody guerrilla in war in Oma or Oh man, as Americans say. He also confesses his fear of heights, which is ironic because he climbs K2 and all these death-defying mountains. <laughs> Funny because he would lend up his wife to clean the gutters up on a ladder. He goes through all these key moments in his life that would exemplify the epitome of fear, how it cripples our mindset, it cripples our whole life. And to some people, it just destroys from the inside, it even goes over, over other people's situations. Where sometimes I was I would be driving while listening to the book and I had to pull over and stop. My heart was just melted. It was intense. He doesn't just talk about himself. He shows you of all these ways that people have overcome their, these great fears. And he has a brilliant way of storytelling and sheds illuminating light on one of humanity's greatest emotions. In case you want to pick up the book, there is a link below. Don't forget to come back for your weekly reads. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you next time.